Hi everyone, welcome back to Rise of Flight. Here we are with Alfie West. The rotter, the scoundrel, and the injury prone Alfie West. Uh, last time, well the last couple of times we've been, uh, we've been injured, but we've managed to get our aircraft down and we've been, uh, managed to be recovered back to the, uh, the, the hospital so we can get some, uh, treatment and flirt with the nurses as I'm no doubt we've been doing. However, five days have passed. And we have now been uh, signed off fit to fly. Fortunately, you can see there was some horrible weather uh, a few days ago. So all ca all operations were cancelled. So not much has changed, which is good. But uh, here we are. April the 14th, 1917. An offensive patrol has been planned. We are going up as wingman number one. So let's head to the mission briefing. Okay, welcome into the mission briefing tent. Here we are, offensive patrol, April the 14th, 1917, squadron number four. Weather report, good visibility, mainly sunny and scattered cloud. Wind at ground level, southwest, four meters per second. Designated pilots, we've got Joseph Armstrong as flight lead. Wingman one, ourselves, Alfie West. Wingman two, Sebastian Jones. Wingman three, uh, Gerald Holmes. And Wingman 4, Irving Jones. <laughs> it's a nice rhyming owns in there. Anyway, sorry. Uh, primary objective, engage and destroy any enemy aircraft or observation balloons that you encounter near your patrol route. Take off at 6.58. Good luck to you. So we're taking off. Oh, we've moved. We used to be ba based down in um, Caldercock Airfield. We've now, obviously... In our injury-prone state, the squadron has moved to um, Zydekoot Airfield. Uh, so we'll be heading a little bit further uh, east of Dunkirk then. So we'll be heading um, over the front lines to Thorout. Uh, I don't know. There's a couple of airfields around here, I've noticed. And then we'll be heading back over the front lines. So, yeah, hopefully a good bit of um, action with enemy fighters. I say a good bit of action. We've had a good bit of action. We've come off worse each time. Uh, we're just double checking we don't have any rockets or any other unnecessary weight to our aircraft. We want to be light and agile. All looking good. Uh, so let's start the mission. Let's head to the aircraft. Okay, so here we are then. Ready to go. Let's crack the throttle and get this engine word up. All looking pretty good. Just flight lead over there. Spinning their propeller as well. Get the gun all cocked as well. Ready to go. Quick. Control surfaces check as we're here. All looking good. Good. Engine on. Ready when you are. Off he goes. Right. Nose forward a little bit. There we go. Tail off the ground. Rolling. Gently, and we're in the air. Beautiful. Beautiful. Coming over the town now. Oh, bit of an ivy problem on that wall, but I'm sure they're all over that. Right, so we're going to stay on flight leads tail, and we're going to head and start off this patrol. The rest of the uh, boys are coming up now, so I'll bring you back when something exciting happens. Hi everyone. Right, uh, flight lead is going down for an observation balloon. And you can see just before the cloud. So um, one of our boys is a bit has fallen a bit far behind. Uh, I might just stay up here, keep some altitude, just in case we get jumped on by any fighters. 
don't particularly want to attack the balloon anyway. Um, because I know what will happen, we'll all dive down there. And then they'll winch the balloon down, which they're already doing. And then we'll just give up on it. We've just wasted all that time. <laughs> That's what usually happens. But anyway, we were over the front lines, as you can see. Uh, and I didn't want to go into that cloud is the other reason I didn't want to go around it. So we're going to steer away from that cloud. Because it's alright for the AI. They can fly in the cloud, no problems. But it's a bit of a... Yeah, so they give up, haven't they? See? An observation balloon in the cloud is not much good anyway, so let it let it be, boys. Let it be. There we go. Yeah, see, didn't waste my time. I will let them go past and then I'll I'll fit back into uh into position. There we go. Anyway, just to bring you up to date, it's a beautiful day up here. Beautiful day. Look at the sun, the clouds, looking gorgeous. Um they got tempted by an observation balloon, but uh, it was never really on, so I'll get back into formation and uh, we'll continue on. And hopefully we'll have uh, something more to bring you on the patrol in a few minutes. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, um, the ACAC is getting a little bit tasty here. And we've just come to the furthest point on our, um, oh, hang on, I've lost, where are there? I've lost, we've come to the furthest point on our patrol. Uh, the way we are circling makes me think there's, there is an airfield below us. Makes me think, are there fighters coming up? Don't see anything. But, these guys are circling, which suggests there usually are some scrambled fighters. Well, they're diving, okay. Obviously, over the enemy airfield, we have um, quite a, a lot of anti-aircraft guns, so that's why we're getting the, uh, the ACAC. It's distinctly not particularly healthy being here. Oh, somebody's dropping out. Has he been hit? Oh no. Oh no no no, we got um Ooh, okay. I see him. Right then, let's get in this tasty little fight then. What we have? We got the Ooh, the Akax come close. Albatross is on the tail of um, our buddy there. Let's dive in. Right, we're on his tail. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, he's going vertical again. Trap this and the aircraft fire. Woof. Whoa, 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 we're stalling. Not a good time to stall. Hello, buddy. Big burst of uh, artillery or something, explosion happening there. Somebody smoking. It looks like a friendly. Right. God, there's loads of them. They're all over the place. Right. And we're flying over the airfield, which is dangerous. Good hits, good hits.
trying to find a weakness. Just get a wing off or something. Guns jammed. Rearm or recock. Yeah. Sure got one on my tail. I've lost him. Where's he gone? There he is. Whoa, hello. We got a mentalist. What's he doing? Hang on. Stop trying to still uh, kill steel, you little bugger. There's a friendly. Okay, we'll come on to this one now. No, we'll go low. That was only going to end in disaster if we kept going on that. That, that flak sounded incredibly close. It's not flak, it's Archie, of course, but these are all friendlies by looks of it. We've got a nasty on our tail. And I say nasty. Oh, we've been hit again. Wonderful. That all because our blooming supporting flight members ran interference and we lost our position. Now I've got a, I'm on the tail of a friendly. Been wounded again. We're gonna have to take out some life insurance because honestly, this is ridiculous. Can't get keep getting injured. Whoa, hello. Go away, boys. Go away. Go away. Friendlies, friendlies. And so the guns go, and there's another albatross down there by looks of things. Yep. He wants to come and play with us, which is fine. I want to go and play with him. Let's come and play. We'll set the play date, and here we go. He's leading me over the anti-aircraft guns of the airfield, which I would do exactly the same. And he's going to come towards us. Problem is, when you're injured and you're blurred vision, it's very difficult to uh, get some accurate shots away. No, it's very difficult to um, actually fully appreciate. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, it's bloody friendly. I've lost him again because you lose the aircraft behind your wing and then you go on the actual noise of the engine and then you got bloody squad members just whizzing by you trying to steal kills there's a tree there oh my Deep breath. The friendly. There he is. Right, we're back on him. After our near 
tree experience. Oh, gun's going. Dangerous now. Oh, there they are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of the way, boys. You're going to put me into an early grave. Oh, watch out for Wink. Don't you try and get a couple of shots into him. That was mine. Right, is that it? We are being battered over this airfield. This Akak is hot and nasty and trying to bite us. So if there's no other albatrosses, I think I'm gonna make a run for home. I'm bleeding once again. I don't know what the damage is to the aircraft. Oh, it seems minimal actually. Again, it seems to be just my big head. I must have a big balloon head. Sniper's Dream is my nickname. And they, uh... Yeah, that's a friendly. Yeah, we're all coming away from the airfield now, so it seems to be, uh, job done. Hi guys, we've made it back to base. That is base. Uh, so I'm just going to get this down. The aircraft seems to be relatively unharmed. Again. It's just old bobblehead me. Uh, seems to get it in the noggin every time. Where's that train station? Oh yeah, cool. Um, right. Bleeding of our wounds once again. I'm just going to do a landing towards the airfield. And once again, we've got to land with the blurry, bl bloody vision. Thankfully, it's just a red haze now. The blood splatters have cleared. They've been wiped away. So it, I think it's probably just a nick. Land! <laughs> ah! Ah, uh, not surprisingly, we've crunched it. Okay, welcome to debriefing. After another harem scarum patrol. Uh, v for victory. We achieved our objectives after 56 minutes and 44 seconds. Pro objective completed. Alfie West. Plane landed, apparently. Uh, we were wounded. We landed. We were only awarded one air victory. There's some kill stealing going on, I feel. Um, Joseph Armstrong, lead flight, was still in the air at the time and also had an air victory. Sebastian Jones landed and uh, nothing to his name. Uh, Gerard Holmes it was also air in the air with nothing to his credit. Sadly, Irving Jones was shot down and killed, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Once again, we are... Transferred to the hospital to receive treatment for our wounds. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> our bunk on the uh, airfield must be um, still fresh linen. We haven't been in it yet. It's crazy. Oh, every every day we stay at the, uh, the hospital at the end. Um, Alfie West shot down Daniel Frey in his Albatross D2. 
And uh, Joseph Armstrong shot down Frederick Seidel in his uh, uh, albatross as well. Um, so losses. We were lost as in terms of wounded in action. Obviously Irving Jones sadly passed in his crash. Heading into the squadron room, we can see where we are. We are actually top of the pops with five aircraft kills, three balloon kills, and four hours, 20 minutes uh, flight experience. So we are, are we the most experienced? Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Cool. Uh, Joseph Dixon's got two air kills. Uh, Jack Payne, uh, Paul Lawrence, Joseph Armstrong, and Thomas Watson all have one kill. To their names as well, which is pretty cool. We are 262nd in the number four squadron career of other players, which is wonderful. Uh, we have 16 sop with pups, which are good, and one damage run, which is probably the one I pranged on landing. I tried to come in too quick and too, uh, too short, I think, um, but I just couldn't judge where the ground was due to the, uh, the blood lust or the actual blood loss vision. So Alfie West does it again. He survives. He's wounded. He goes to the the swooning nurses. I doubt they're swooning. They'll be tough as old boots, these nurses, I think. But we did secure our fifth air victory, which is fantastic. Look at that. All uh, albatrosses. This is a D2, the one we shot down today. The others are D3s. Um, and in the global statistics, we're up to 15,637th, which is not too bad. And there's our uh, Costa Gare with the bronze palm as well. Alfie West, Alfie West, I should say, lives to fight another day. Unbelievably, he's got so many bandages, and um, he must be held together with uh, gaffer tape by now. Uh, but we'll go again once he heals from his wounds. We'll be up again and see what more mischief we can get up to in the story of Alfie West trying to uh, make up for his uh, his ill deeds in a past life. Until next time, take care. I'll see you then.